Hello dear students, our lesson today is a story lesson, The Secret Garden, Chapter 3. Chapter 3 Martha shouted Mary one morning, look at the moor. The sun was shining, the sky was blue, and everything looked beautiful. Spring is coming, smiled Martha. There will be lots of colorful flowers on the moor soon. So, we can find here that, or as we know, as we know that the spring is one of the seasons of the year. What happens during the spring? Yes, all the flowers become colorful. The sun is always shining and the sky is always blue. It was Martha's day off. What's the meaning of day off? It was her holiday. Okay, and she was going to see her family. I'd like to visit your house one day, said Mary. It's a long walk, said Martha, but I can ask my mother. She can talk to Mrs. Medlock about it. I must go now, but I will see you tomorrow. So, Martha was leaving Mr. Craven's house because it was her holiday. She was leaving, but Mary wanted to go with her to visit her parents or to visit her house. But Martha told her that it is a long walk to reach the house, but she will ask her mother to talk to Mrs. Medlock about this issue. Okay, the main points. Mary Lennox wanted to visit Martha's house. She wanted to meet Martha's mother and brother. I'd like to meet your mother. So again, Mary wants to visit Martha's house to meet her mother. And Deacon. So she said, I want to meet your mother and Deacon. Martha smiled. I wonder, she said, what Deacon would think of you. I don't think he would like me answered the girl coldly. Martha was surprised. Why? she asked. Don't you like yourself? No, not at all, said Mary. But I've never thought of that before. Well, think about it now, said Martha gently and left. So, when Mary told Martha that she wanted to go with her, with her to see her mother and Deacon, Martha said, or she wondered, how would Deacon think of Mary? But Mary said that he would not like her. So, again, we can find why did, why did Mary think that uh, Deacon would not like her? Yes, she always thought or she always knew that most of the people do not like her. Mary went out to the gardens. So the next more or, or that day after Martha has left, Mary went out to the gardens. Ben and two other gardeners were working and the robin was singing loudly. Look, everything is starting to grow. So as we said before, because it is springtime, so every or the flowers and the trees are starting to grow. Ben said and smiled at her. Ben is happy today, thought Mary as she walked away. The robin followed her. Hello, do you remember me? She asked the bird. The robin flew down to her and Mary saw something on the ground. So what did she see on the ground? What's that? She asked. Oh, it's an old key. So what does Mary find on the, fr on the ground? Yes, she finds an old key. Perhaps it's the key to the garden. She sat and put the key in her pocket. Early the next morning, Martha came back. I brought you a present. So, when Martha came back, she brought Mary a present with her. She said happily to Mary, It's from my mother. A present? asked Mary. Oh, what is it? It's a skipping rope. Mother says it will help you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. 
So Martha brings a present for Mary when she comes back. She brought her a skipping rope from her mother and Mary thanked her. Martha laughed, go outside and try it. Mary skipped and skipped. So all the morning, she spent all the morning skipping the rope all the way to the garden wall. The robin was sitting there. You showed me the key yesterday, she said. But where is the door? Now she's talking to the robin. She's telling the robin that you have shown me this the key. If you can see here the key. You have shown me the key yesterday, but please show me the garden today. The robin started singing. Suddenly the wind blew and some branches moved from the wall. So these are the branches of the trees. So when the branches or when the wind moved the branches away or when the wind blew, it moved the branches away. So what happened? Yes, there uh, a door appeared from behind these branches. Oh, it's magic, thought Mary as a door appeared. So a door appeared from behind the branches. She tried the key and the heavy door opened. If you look here at this picture, you will find that she was trying to use the key to open the door. Mary took a step through the door and smiled. She was standing inside the secret garden. So when Mary opened the door, she was inside or she found herself inside the secret garden. It was the most mysterious place you could imagine. There were hundreds of plants and rose bushes. So what did she find inside the secret garden? She found hundreds of plants and rose bushes and tall grass everywhere. Leaves and branches hung from walls and trees and the garden smelled wet, sweet and wet. Okay, this is the picture of uh, Mary inside the secret garden. Look at the picture. Yes, there are lots of plants, hundreds of plants. There are rose bushes. There is also tall grass everywhere. There are leaves and branches hung on the walls or hung from the walls. It is so quiet in here, she whispered. Has everything died? Now she finds that everything inside the, the secret garden has died. Then she noticed some little green plants in the ground. She took a stick and cleaned round them. I can help these flowers to grow, she thought, and she worked all morning until lunchtime. So she kept on working inside the secret garden until lunch time. You ate all your food and look at your cheeks, said Martha. Mother was right. So Martha also realized that Mary became healthier, she became better, she ate more and her cheeks became red. Martha, she said slowly, I want to make a little garden, but I need some things. Mrs. Medlock gives me money from my uncle every week. Where can I buy a small spade? Martha thought for a minute. There is a shop in the village. It sells garden tools and flowers. My brother Deacon often goes there. He can buy things for you and bring them here. Oh, could he? Martha said Mary. Yes, well, send him a letter with some money, answered Martha. Mary was excited. I'm going to meet Deacon. I want to see him very much, she thought and smiled. Okay, Mary here wanted to buy a small spade to help her in the garden. 
Martha told her that the one who can bring her this spade is Deacon. So she told her to send him a letter with some money and Deacon will buy her the small spade. Thank you.